Hello there. How are you doing? Are you fresh? This is your first time on the live stream? First like on the stream right here. Thank you. I knew that you'd be on the live stream before. How's everybody doing? Um, it is Friday afternoon here in Hong Kong on the 5th of February 2021. How are you all doing? Ashaz, you're on Twitch and on YouTube? Nice to see you. How's everybody doing? Um, today, I am not streaming Pokemon Go. So if any of you are like, I'm here for the Pokemon, um, we're not doing Pokemon Go today. But I wouldn't want to disappoint, disappoint you guys too much. So if you would like some Pokemon, hold on a second. Give me just a second. This is my first time doing this. Let's see if this works. Boom. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Um, I've been inspired by the other Twitch streamers and YouTube streamers who have these little avatars down here. We've got avatars. This is my first time ever using these avatars. So I don't know how it's going to work. Um, if you're going to ask me what commands work for these, I don't know. I really don't know how this is going to work. Uh, but we can see Rosen is lurking over there. Hey, Rosen, how are you doing? Are you lurking? Um, we can see who else have we got here. I'm not sure who that is. We've got me too. You can see me over there. I've got my little Pichu down there in the corner. I had to get in early to make sure that I got Pichu before anybody else. But how are you guys doing? Um, now, before anybody asks, um, we have avatars for everybody who is in the Twitch chat. Okay, so if you're in the Twitch chat, and if you're a subscriber, or as well a follower, um, it's followers on Twitch, isn't it? If you're a follower on Twitch, um, you can have yourself your own little Pokemon avatar walking around at the bottom. That's not telling you to not watch on YouTube, but um, yeah, I've got these for you. Iofresh says, I've been on the Pokemon stream that you caught yourself a ho -oh, uh, in Pokemon Go. Yeah, I, you're on my friends list as well. Um How's everybody doing, though? Um, today is going to be a super casual stream, not like last Wednesday's Pokemon Go stream, which was a little bit insane. Um, for the last couple of weeks, the Pokemon Go streams have kind of blown up a little bit. Um, before, I would have just like, you know, a small group of people watching, and it was super easy to manage. Um, but once I started hosting raids, it went a little bit crazy. Um, the first week that it blew up was fine. Like that was last week. I felt like I kind of managed it okay. And I got enough people into raids and it all seemed to go well. And I felt like, you know, at my end, I felt like I was kind of in control. Um, Wednesday, two days ago, was a little bit of a nightmare. Um, I was struggling to get people into raids because it's quite difficult. Um, I've got a main account on Pokemon Go and I've got my um, alt account because my main account friends list is full. So I had a, I made an alt account just for inviting people into raids and it was hard. And, you know, to monitor two phones and to monitor a stream and to kind of like get people into raids and to watch the chat was really difficult. And um, I felt a lot of pressure, honestly. Uh, the chat was going a little bit crazy. And there were some really nice people in the chat too uh, who were telling people not to be rude and not to be impatient. But, you know, people wanted to get into raids and I kind of wasn't able to do that at my end. Um, so yeah, uh, Wednesday's raid hour was a little bit difficult, to say the least. Um, now, I know a lot of people want to get those legendary dogs in Pokemon Go. Um, there is one more to go. How do we say the name anyway? Do we know how to say these words? Suikune? Suikun? Suikune? How do we say that one? Hey, Sandeep, where's Sandeep? How are you doing? Um, Ashaz says to uh, Pokemon Go, see my buddy. We'll have a look at that in just a second, Ashaz. Um, but yeah, I uh, we, we've got uh, these legendary raids right now. And a lot of people want to get those Pokemon. Um, by the way, for the Suikune, how do we say that? 
whatever, the blue one. The uh, the blue Pokemon Suikune is, I don't even know the Japanese name for this one. Uh, Suikun. Suikun. Um, for Suikun, um, they are only in raids until, on the Pokemon Go website, it says until Tuesday morning, but that's like Tuesday morning at 10 a.m., which basically means if you want to catch Suikun, you've got until Monday night, and that's it. That is all you've got. So, um, yeah, next week's raid hour will not be Suikun. It will be somebody else. As Shaz says, go and have a look at my Pokemon Go. Fine. I will have a quick look. I didn't want to look at Pokemon Go on this stream, but uh, we are going to go and have a look. Hey, Shaz, you've got a ho -oh. What's Rosen doing? I can see he's here. The avatars are telling me, uh, but I think they're lurking. Or they might be in lessons, I don't know. Okay, let's check out Ashaz first of all. Today is not a Pokemon Go stream, guys. It's not. I promised today that I was going to be playing Genki Village, which is a Hong Kong game. Um, a game made... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Was that loud, guys? It was really loud for me. Um, how loud was that for you? I'm, I'm going to try and turn the volume down for this, but... Um, if the game audio is too quiet or too loud, please tell me. Before we do anything, let's have a quick look at Ashaz. Because he says that he has something that we should see. Who's your buddy, Ashaz? Whoa, you got the shiny. Now, wait a second. Is this the, the hundo that you were talking about? Wait a second. This is not a hundo, is it? Shundo? Well, yeah, of course it's a sh Is that really a shundo? That's amazing. Hold on. Let me just send a Shaz a nice gift. What should we send a Shaz? Oh, sorry. I haven't got many gifts. Sorry, there is no choice here. I'll give you a nice sticker to go with it. How did you get that? You really got a Shundo? That is ridiculous, Ashaz. How did you do it? Oh, that is amazing. Well done. Keep that one. Power that up. Give him an extra attack. He deserves it. Anyway, welcome to what is going to be kind of like a Hong Kong games spotlight and that's because you know like we all know the big games we know the fortnights we know the pokemon goes of the world um but i was asking myself last week like what hong kong games do i know right i live here in hong kong and you know local games are not that popular so what i wanted to do you know we've got a live stream We've got a YouTube channel, we've got a Twitch channel, and I just wanted to spend a little bit of time, maybe every week, um, having a look at some Hong Kong games and just seeing if they're any good. That's all. Um, and, you know, just trying the games out and getting them out there. So last week we played a game called Astral Stairways. Astral Stairways um, is it's built as an RPG, but it's more of a like a turn-based battler. Um, where you get these little characters and you power them up and you use them to attack other characters. Um, and yeah, I didn't really get into it. And I felt like like the UI of it and some of the language that was used in the onboarding process was a little bit hard for me to follow. And I found like I was playing the game and not really knowing what I was doing. Um, but part of that might be just that I don't really play that genre of game very much, right? Um, I don't play kind of those RPG. The closest that I play to that would be Pokemon. Um, but the game was nice enough, and the art was good. The artwork in last week's game was really good. The sound was good. Um, so for now, at least, best games from Hong Kong, 
Astral Stairways is number one so far in my rankings. That said, it's the only game that I have played. Um, hold on a second. I haven't really been looking at the chat here. Uh, Ayo Fresh says, by the way, I caught the Entei that you invited me to. Then you got a Raiko and a Suikun. But you caught the two Entei. One of them was a Shiny. And you got the Shiny Celebi. That's great. Well done, Ayo. I, I, I'm really happy for that. Okay, guys. Let's keep going. Uh, so, yeah. Without further ado. Well, should I introduce you guys? Welcome to my Hong Kong Indie Game Spotlight stream, uh, where, as I just said, I'm trying to, you know, play a few Hong Kong games and hopefully find something good. Uh, it is Friday afternoon here in Hong Kong on the 5th of February 2021, and we've been recorded live on twitch.tv slash Anthony Kelly, yep, and on, you know, YouTube. Uh, if you do like what we're doing here, please subscribe on YouTube. We're trying to get to 100 viewers. Hey, Ajit, how are you doing? Uh, we are trying to get to 100 subscribers over there. Right now, we have 53, which is really good. Uh, we have 53 subscribers on YouTube. Um, but I do want to get to 100 so I can get a better name. I want to have youtube.com slash Anthony Kelly Yip or Aki Games or whatever it is. That's what I would like to get. If you are watching on Twitch, uh, welcome. You can be one of these lovely avatars down at the bottom. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at this game that we're playing today, which is called Genki Village. Or oh, Genki Deska. Genki Des. Ashaz says, bro, read my chats. Hold on, I, 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 I'm, I'm missing out some of this here. You said it was a Shundo. Yeah, I got that. It was from a raid invite. It was a China raid invite um hold on i haven't got any sound from this yet hold on a second guys wait it was a china raid so the reason i'm a little bit surprised at that is because pokemon go um isn't available in mainland china um pokemon go is only available in so for, for China, you can get Pokemon Go in... Um, oh, hold on a second. I'm just trying to get the audio streaming. Start now. Hopefully, you will be able to hear the audio from the game. Maybe not. Okay, the game audio isn't coming through the computer, so I'll just pop it out here. Hey, Harrison, how are you doing? It's nice to see you here. Thank you for being in the chat last Wednesday. I'm having a... Very, very casual gameplay day today. We're playing some Hong Kong-based indie games. Um, just because I kind of wanted to do a bit of a spotlight on things that have been developed, you know, where I live. And hopefully the gaming, the game developing industry here can get better and better. Hey, everyone. Um, Ashaz says, or Tokyo. Tokyo is not in China. Tokyo is in Japan, Ashaz. Um, yeah, Pokemon Go is not allowed in mainland China, with a lot of games, actually. So, uh, for example, there is no Google Play Store in mainland China. Um, if you have a Huawei phone, you would have to download games on a Huawei store. Um, if you have... Uh, uh, they still have the Apple App Store, but there is more censorship. So there's, like, games that are available outside of China that you can't download on the Apple App Store within China. And Pokemon Go is one of those games that was never allowed there. Um, a lot of players from the mainland will spoof Pokemon Go and play in other areas. But no, there's no Pokemon Go in mainland China. We do have it here in Taiwan. Um, you can play in Macau. Uh, sorry, here in Taiwan, here in Hong Kong. And they played in Taiwan as well. Ashaz says you thought Tokyo was in China. It's in Japan, Ashaz. And a lot of people play Pokemon Go in Japan. Um, so here we go, guys. I'm going to try Genki Village for the first time. I don't know what this is going to be. Should we have a quick look first? We can jump into, uh, into the Play Store, I guess. And we're going to have a quick look here at where has it gone? Genki Village. And see... I mean, I guess I shouldn't really be looking at the reviews of any of it first. We should make up our own minds. Um, build your animal kingdom. 
and start the adventure. Okay, embark on an adventurous journey, idle clicker with casual simulation, tap tap gameplay, allowing heroes in building unique animal villages. The English doesn't sound much better than uh, Astral Stairways last week. Maintaining and curating it to maintain fame and fortune. Unlock hundreds of hidden heroes and buildings and own a collection. Okay. Uh, own the world. So I guess this is just going to be one of those like, oh goodness, collect and recruit the famous stars. I wonder if that's an official Marvel crossover or if it's just some random thing that they've done. Solve puzzles to get extra resources. I can do that. Is this going to be a good game? We will see. I'll see. Uh, Ashad says you caught the shiny Shundo Suikun from Japan. Well done, Ashad. Well done. Um, I'm just turning up the volume a little bit. Is this going to be good? We will see. Okay, guys. Enter your name. Anthony. Aki. What should we call ourselves? We can be Anthony. I'm going to be a boy. Okay, what should we do then? We've got our rabbit. Cat. Dog. Bear. Pig. Mouse. Hamster. I'm going to be a rodent. In honor of my hamster, Jeffrey. A long time ago, there was a beautiful place called Genki Continental. It sounds like a hotel. Animals live peacefully on this land, surrounded with joy and love. Until one day, when those monsters came. Goodness, that does look like a monster. They destroyed everything. Everyone ran. What is that? Eggs with legs? That was horrible. No, no, don't come back again. Let's skip the eggs with legs. And there was a suspicious stone that looked like a bear. I don't know where this story is going. <laughs> okay. People say there is always light, even in the dark. And you are our light. <laughs> what is this? I am the goddess of the gases stone. The only one who can restore our goddess power. The only one who can help to rebuild the Genki Continental. Do you think that's like Genki Continent? Let's make a long story short. Yes, please do. If we want to rebuild the Genki Continental, we'll first need to gather popularity. Oh my goodness, I've got a new name for the Discord server. E Aki Continental. Anthony Kelly Continental. We will first need to gather popularity. I've got that. As long as we can make this place busier and better, we can gather more and more popularity. Okay. So we've got to build a small cabin one time. I think we can do this. Let's start with our first task. Let's build a cabin. We can speed up our cabin building. Is this how they're going to get us? Are we going to have to pay to speed stuff up? Okay. We can create a building. So far, like the artwork in this game, I prefer it to, um, excuse me, Astral Stairways from last week. But no pain, no gain. Let's keep creating new buildings to make our village better and more popular. Fine. Okay, we've got our building. We've got a bonus. We've pressed OK. The winning is in the first purchase. Let's see if we can earn big from our customers. Fine. Okay, we're making money. What's wrong? Why can't our stores attract customers? We have to figure out the reason. Okay, so this is our small cabin. Um, it doesn't look attractive enough, but if we put resources into them, we can level them up. Okay. 
Do we have to keep leveling up? How 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 high do we have to level this? Is that enough? I've leveled that up five times. Seems that it's not enough. Oh, upgrade the building small cabin to level 20. Got it. We can do that. I play Pokemon. I know how to level up. Okay. How do we come out from that then? Close. Okay. Do we have a new mission? Great. We got more stuff. Collect 8,000 coins. Here come the customers. Keep the village beautiful to keep the money coming. Tap them to get more money. Wait, we tap the customers? Okay. Ashaz says you have to go now. No worries, Ashaz. It's just, like I said, this is just a casual stream. So we're here to uh, to chat for a little bit and uh, drop back in if you've got any time later on, all right? But it's been nice to see you, all right? I'll see you later. And I'll see you in the next stream as well, Ashaz. Take care. So what do we do here? So we tap the people, I think. Is this going to be the whole game? Just tapping people as they walk past? 8,000 coins. We're six. Okay. So basically, this house is going to keep on making money. But if we tap the people when they walk past, we can get more money. Which is good. Are we there yet? Okay, we've got our 8,000 coins. Is this going to be one of those like super addictive games where you're just caught in an upgrade loop forever? I haven't found any puzzles yet. Okay, we need to own a total of two buildings and we need to assign one companion to a building. You are smart and talented. Continuously completing those difficult tasks. We literally tapped people as they walk past the house. Now let's visit the shops. Okay. Okay, we can assign somebody to the building to manage the building and maximize profits. Okay. And we're still tapping people. Take care, Ashes. Bye bye. <sighs> you know what? The music isn't terrible. Like, it's always playing, but it's not awful. Okay, that rock under the ground, that bear rock, which had light pouring out of its eyes earlier, will be unlocked in mission five. Oh, goodness me. What do we need to do? From now on, you are the king of this village. We need two buildings. Well, how do we make a new building? It seems that I can't build yet. Oh, sorry. And I can't really see why either. Um, but this number at the top, this 66% is still going up. So I assume that like, if I get enough money that might let me buy a house. I mean, I haven't got enough money in the real world to buy a house yet. Not at Hong Kong prices. I love these little, uh, these little avatars that we've got at the bottom. Okay, are we there yet? Are we there yet? 66%. It seems like that isn't going up. Oh, but the little star is. So I'm getting closer to two star. This can't be the whole game. Is the whole game just tapping people when they walk past your house? Because if so, I don't think I'll be coming back. Is that it? Okay. Rank up. We did well. What can we do with that newfound rank? 
Nothing. Oh, 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 I should have just clicked here. Okay, do we want a small cabin, a hotel, a mine? We can't do a game booth or any of these at the bottom. These need to be unlocked with this cat candy that we don't have. Harrison says, did you say this was designed and developed near you? I'm trying to watch while I get ready to work. Well, yeah, um, so this was designed and developed in Hong Kong. Um, and I was hoping that like I could highlight some games that are made here. Um, to be honest, in Hong Kong, everywhere is near you. Hold on, hold on. Let me get a house. A hotel, that's what we need. We will build the hotel right there. Oh, no, it's one of these. Look at that. So there's a timer on it. And if you want it to build faster, you could pay, I guess. We could speed up the process with one cat candy that we don't have or this thing on the left. What is that? It's an ad. A playable ad? Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> okay. Is that enough? We will not be installing Homescapes unless it was developed in Hong Kong and then we will add it onto our list. Ashaz is back. No way. We've ranked up. Harrison, you got to go to work. Oh, yeah, you're in the UK. So it is time to get up and going, right? Thank you for joining me, though. Okay. Watching that ad helped us to build a hotel faster. So... There's kind of Monopoly vibes from this kind of game. I know there's a lot of games like this where you're supposed to be building things. Um, but there's this idea of you buy property and that property will make money for you. Um, and if you upgrade it, you'll get more money. And that is a gameplay loop right there. Um, I hope there's going to be some interesting things in here somewhere. Because like on the screenshots, there were puzzles and things that we could do. Okay, you only have two hands, so it's impossible for you to do everything on your own. That's why we've got other people to help us. Right, Harrison? Um, but don't worry. Let's find some companions to follow your lead. Okay. What's going on here? This is weird because it looks like that little cat candy is going up behind Rabbit's head. This is really cute. Failure is success when we learn from it, says Angry Bunny. You know what? We can either redraw or we can keep her. I want Angry Bunny. So I can recruit Angry Bunny for free if I watch an ad, or I can spend 30 cat candy on her. I'm going to recruit her for free and watch an ad. For her Harry Potter game. <laughs> it's nearly 10 a.m. What's the weather like, Harrison? Um, a couple of weeks back, it was snowing in my hometown. But how is it over there? In Hong Kong right now, it is like 24 degrees. <laughs> hey, are we going to get a, uh, a strike for playing the Harry Potter music? It, it, it is 24 degrees here, but like with like the humidity and everything, um, it was, it, it feels a little bit cooler than 24 degrees. Wait, 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 what happened? Why have I got Uncle Wong? I thought I was getting Angry Rabbit. Did I press the wrong button? I'm confused. Is this the gacha thing? where we're just going to have to keep re-rolling it until we get a nice one. Oh, no. So we've got Uncle Wong and we've got Angry Bunny. I got you. 
Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. Okay, we have Uncle Wong and we have... So what do, What can these people do? Can I get one of... Oh, there's so many people. This game, it's going to... It's going to get you in the end. Wait, can I get someone to look after my hotel? Okay, I've got to spend 50,000 coins and I've got to assign one companion to a building. That's what I wanted to do. And I'm not sure exactly where to do that. But um, how do I assign? That's me. Let's assign Angry Bunny to where? See, I don't know whether this is... Okay, Angry Bunny's here. What happened to me? Oh, I can assign me to this building. Okay, there we go. So we've got Anthony and Angry Bunny working together to get everybody in. Uh, Rosen says, I know you are lurking, Rosen. I absolutely know that you are lurking. I can see your little avatar over there in the bottom left. Uh, there's a few people here, so there's already no need for mods. We don't really need mods, right? It's nine degrees right now. For the past few weeks, it's either rained or snowed. If in Hong Kong, um, if it were the coldest day of the year and you were on top of the tallest hills in the middle of the night, it might be nine degrees. Um, it is very rare for Hong Kong to get cool at all. Uh, how can I spend 50,000 coins? What can I spend it on? I guess I could upgrade my hotel, right? How much is that going to cost? I could upgrade Angry Bunny. Now here it's telling me to upgrade... Oh, that's the small cabin and not the hotel. Okay, there's the hotel. We could upgrade the hotel to level... 20? We could upgrade me. I could do with an upgrade. Insufficient learning points. Okay, okay. So there's a currency of coins, but there's also a currency of learning points that it looks like you pick it up by doing your jobs. So like my little hamster rat is here. Learning. I wonder if those are individual learning points. Insufficient learning points again. Have I spent my 50,000 coins yet? I have. Okay. Where are the puzzles? You've completed many tasks, but da -da -da. here comes the real deal. Okay. Own a total of three buildings and own two streets. Two streets. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, 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 here in the Philippines, no matter how cold it is, we never get snow. We never get snow either. Um, hold on, Ashaz, did you say how many XP did you get in Duolingo this week? I just missed that. It's already scrolled off the screen. You have more XP than me in Duolingo this week? I bet you do. Um, upgrade a street to three stars. We've done that. Every street has special challenges. You have to fulfill the requirements to unlock the next street. Okay. So how do we unlock the next street then? You've achieved your goal. Let's start to develop our next street. Oh, so the streets are on top of each other. That's really nice. So we're just going to end up like scrolling through a thousand streets. So, okay, so we can maybe buy a house here? I'm not sure what I need to press. I would like to have a small cabin. Okay, we have a buildings collection. Here's our building collection. It contains different combinations within. If you successfully trigger one of the combinations, 
it will generate a bonus effect and increase your profits. Wait, so it says here, if I have like two small cabins and a hotel, it will increase uh, the coins that we get by 20%. Okay, so I guess what I want down here is another small cabin. Oh, that's why that's a recommended building. Sorry, I haven't been watching the chat very much. Um, I have been doing Duolingo this week. Not quite enough. This week, I have been doing a lot of... Let me just grab these people's coins. Oh my goodness, this game is going to be so addictive. It's the gacha thing. There's always something for you to tap. Now, hold on a second, guys. Um, this week, I have been doing a lot of this app, Kanji Tree. Now, uh, for Ashaz, you've only just started learning Japanese. I do not recommend this app for you right now. I really don't. Uh, because it is difficult. It is difficult. Um, but I have been doing a lot of work on Kanji Tree this week. So this is what you will be learning, you know, three, four, five months from now. Not just yet. Uh, I suggest you stick with Duolingo for now, and we'll do that later. Okay, then. Sayonara. Thank you very much, Harrison. It's been nice to see you. Keep warm. Uh, take care. Remember to wear a mask. And um, stay away from humans. They're, uh, they're all horrible. <laughs> how do I build? I've forgotten how to build anything. It's been good having you here, though. Thank you, Harrison. Oh, we found the puzzle. This is the cube bear. All you have to do is to connect the cubes into one straight line. Okay, I can do that. Let me show you how it's done. Oh, I got this. I did see that. Thank you, Gaia. Okay, so we can go... I can't get that one down though. Oh, we, we're done. Oh, I got this. I love this. This is like a little Tetrisy thing. Okay. I don't think we can do anything here for this one. Oh, we can. Maybe. This, this is such a me ass game. This is ridiculous. Oh, how am I going to do this one? I'm going to get into so much trouble. Okay, there we go. Is this fun? That's my question. Is this actually fun? <laughs> Sorry, I missed out the chat. Nobody's in the chat. Uh, where do I go next? I could move you over here. That didn't do anything at all, did it? While I'm doing this, I feel like my village is being neglected. This game is going to be addictive, isn't it? I don't know what to do. Wait, I could get you down here. Do I want to continue? No. What did I get? 22. Did that do anything? You have one thing to remember. When you see me on the street, don't forget to tap on me to say hi. I will give you rewards by doing so. Okay. And I'm supposed to tap on everybody, right? Does anyone remember how to build a house? Does anyone actually remember? It's like a build screen or something. I've got my gachas. I've got my boosts. Like I keep thinking if I tap the for sale button that I should be able to build... But it looks like I can't. Or do we tap it here? Okay. So we're going to get another small cabin. 
and we're going to build it there. Okay, so remember, building houses is in the mission screen. Do we want to speed that up? We could watch another ad, right? What's this an ad for? Another building game. This looks a little bit like, um, oh, what was it called? Age of Empires, that kind of art design. Did you ever play Age of Empires on uh, PC? I remember that being a really good game. Like we used to go to internet cafes in Hong Kong and play Age of Empires all the time. Uh, internet cafes in Hong Kong used to be really dingy and a little bit dirty. Um, hold on, that, 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 that thing is there. Here comes Gas's level one. It's just getting me to tap. That's oh, okay. <laughs> it's just getting you to tap the screen. The fact that I'm still playing this just shows how like addictive gacha games can be. Okay. Oh, we've got a new mission. So we've done that. We can get stuff. Great, we've got wood. Got a special gift. Excuse me. Okay, okay. We've got a welcome pack. Most cheap. Pearl is the most cheap. Oh, we've got to pay 38 Hong Kong dollars for this. No, not yet. Not yet. Uh, like, I don't mind paying for games, um, especially if it's a game that I, I like uh, and I'm going to put a lot of time in. Um, and I'm talking about like free-to-play games here because in general, free-to-play games have got some kind of mechanic in there where they uh, want you to uh, to pay for things. And you can see this in Pokemon Go as well. Like the You can play for free, um, but if you want to watch ads to get a two times booster, no, I'm going to leave that just for now. Um, if you play like Pokemon Go, you can pay for stuff. And some of those payments are not particularly egregious. And some of them are. Like uh, at the end of last year, I didn't really want to do the, um, what was it, the Mr. Mime uh, research because it was expensive and you didn't get very much from it. Um, so, I, yeah, I didn't really want to do Mr. Mime last time. Um, but I will pay for other things on Pokemon Go. So I'm not against, like, paying for for uh, for coins and things in these free-to-play games. That said, I've only just started playing this. I don't know whether I will like it or not. Um, for now, at least, I'm not paying for this just yet. Not just yet. Watch ads to obtain serve customers instantly. Okay, so it seems like the watching ads is a big part of the uh, the currency of the game. I don't know what I just did, but I ranked up. Can we get another house? Own a total of three streets. Upgrade ten shops. Upgrade a companion three times. We can do that. We will upgrade Angry Bunny. Uh, there we go. That will get us that one, right? Upgrade ten shops and own a total of three streets. We haven't done anything on this second street yet. Build a mine. Yeah, we haven't done that yet. Let's build a mine up here. And it recommends here a mine and something else and something else. Okay, I think we kind of know what's going on here. Um, we're not getting Pearl. There's a boost. Let's just go through everything and see what is in this game, okay? Um, so we've got our first street, we've got our second street. The mission tells us that we want to have more and more streets with more and more things on them. Um, at the top here, we have these coins, which we are collecting by playing the game. We're also getting these learning 
uh, resources here that we can use to upgrade our characters. So there we go, we can upgrade her. And we can upgrade ourselves with some learning too. Never stop learning. Uh, we can also upgrade the buildings. Oh, I haven't assigned, I should assign someone to this, right? Let's assign Uncle Wong. And we can upgrade the buildings as well. I think, yeah, as you upgrade them, they become nicer looking as well. So, hold on, where's the hotel? We can, there we go, we now have a bigger hotel. And all of the artwork here is nice. Can we upgrade this small cabin and make it look a little bit prettier? So I think at level 30, it will change to a different cabin. Or maybe not. Level 40? No, we've run out of materials. We are slightly away from level 40. And I'm wondering, once we've got a mine, is that going to help us to get more materials? Is this how any of this works? Okay, we've nearly finished our mine at the top. So I'm guessing that the mine is going to give us materials that we can use. I've got a lot of books here. So we can we can upgrade Mr. Wong as well. It seems like Mr. Wong requires wood to upgrade. And we've got a little bit of cat candy too. We've got a mine. What is that good? Yeah, okay, so the mine gives us materials. We're not watching ads. Okay, so right now the mine is giving us one piece of wood a second. So I think the whole hook of the game is just going to be building and maintaining and making money and taking care of these streets. Uh, we need to own a total of three streets. Let's unlock street number three, which looks like it's in a different area. This person wants us to watch an ad. We're not going to do that just yet. What do you want? I can't remember how to build a house. Got some rewards. Okay, we need seven buildings. 600,000 coins. And use miracle party time. Let's have another house. Um, to get an apartment, we need to unlock that with cat candy. But, you know, why not? We've got cat candy. We haven't got enough cat candy. If we wanted more, we could buy it. And there's like more materials and things being introduced as well. Okay. If we go down here, so this booster is, we can purchase boosters from the store. So this one says, so we can get this booster from an ad. That was the one that we just saw, wasn't it? So we watch this ad for that game that we saw. Don't use the umbrella. It will kill them. Um, radiator or campfire. We just set that on. Okay, that's a game. We now have a two times booster. Now, I don't know what will be two times there. It might be everything. Oh, puzzle unlocked. I was going to like go through this and try and quit the game in a second, but it keeps giving me more things to do. I think that's just giving me cat candy. keeps giving me things to do. Can I quit that? I don't do that. And we've ranked up again. Great. Uh, Angry Bunny package. Do we want to buy Angry? We've already got Angry Bunny. We don't need to buy her. Okay, then. What does this remain to? So that's the puzzle game. And if we look down at the bottom... Right now, we're on Beginner's Village. So, 
I guess we'll have more villages in the future. Party time. Increase all shops and companions rewards by one, one time. Fever time activated to all companions. Last 10 to 11 seconds. I don't know what just happened. Make the miracle happen. Let the village bustle with noise and excitement. Okay. This is party time. For 30 minutes. Oh no. I thought that I was gonna have that kind of onslaught of color for the next 30 minutes. We need to have a party time in our stream. Okay, so we've got party time. Uh, we can unlock different types of building. There's a function that is locked that we're not gonna unlock today. And we can buy stuff. That's okay, and I'm still not bored with the sound, but just in case I was, is there any way of turning it off? Okay. We've got Chinese, Japanese, and English. We could use this to learn Japanese. Oh, we have to restart if we're doing this in Japanese. Tap to start. Wait, is my village still here? Okay, we're still here. So yes, we can play this game in Japanese, in English, and in Chinese. Which is good. Uh, but we will keep that on English. Oh no, it's going to have to restart again, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 that's wrong. Okay, what else was hiding in here? Can we turn off the music? Yes. Yes, we can. What other games does this company have? Um, okay, so overall, I think this is another game. Mao Mori. What is this? Is this the developer or is this a game? Just gonna have a quick look here. This page isn't working. <laughs> okay, I'll just leave that. Um, overall, that was all right, wasn't it? Um, I felt like that was quite good fun. Um, at the very least, I think that that was better than um, the game that I was playing last time, which was Astral Stairways. So if I just hold on while I just set up my uh, I just need to set up my top 10 app with uh, with Genki Village in there. Okay, I'll be back in just a second, guys. Oh, I just drunk myself. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, I did that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. We're back, and I've killed the chat somehow. Um, Okay, I think that Genki Village, let me just add that here. I'm going to drop that into Best Games in Hong Kong. Oh, wait, I, I thought that I added that. Let's try again. Okay. Genki Village. Let's just quickly... Add that back. Drop that in there. Crop. What was the dev who was the developer of Genki Village again? Was anyone paying attention? Genki Village is developed by Original Workshop Company Limited. Original Workshop. Save. Um, I'm going to put Genki Village. Above Astral Stairways, I am. Um, I think that 
the game itself was a lot easier to understand. The artwork was very consistent. The sound was was nice. And unlike Astral Stairways, where last week I was playing that and not entirely sure what I was doing, which might be my problem, um, I feel like Genki Village was easier to understand and easier to follow. And yeah, I liked it. I did like it. So for now, at least, Genki Village is the best game in Hong Kong. We've only tried two. Um, I'm probably also the only ever person to have streamed Genki Village online. So uh, I guess I'm the best Genki Village streamer in Hong Kong as well. Maybe. Thank you for joining me, guys. It's been really nice to see you here. Um, I've accidentally killed the chat down there, so I'm not sure if anyone is still here watching. But just in case you are, thank you for coming. Um, we'll be back on Monday with our Japanese language live stream. That will be um, at about midday here in Hong Kong. Um, and we will be learning Japanese with Kanji Tree and Duolingo. So uh, I do hope to see you there if you are free. And um, thanks for joining and uh, catch you next time, guys.